Hey everyone! As the title suggests, I thought we could talk about something really weird in that Prada and Saleron did pull out of coupon codes earlier this year and now they're back included again and I'm doing this for any of you who didn't know this. I only know this because of you guys. I've had a lot of you contact me whenever I've shared coupon codes saying I don't know if you've tried it or tested it, but it works on Saleron bags again. And so thank you to all of you who let me know. So I thought I would tell you what has happened in the past, why they aren't included anymore, what is happening now, how you, if you were one of the people that wanted to buy a maker saving, how you probably still can. So I'm gonna share with you the how. And also at the end of this, I'm doing another one of those luxury giveaways. And with those luxury giveaways, there is no set prize. I uh, draw a winner, give you a budget, you go away and choose what you want from anywhere, from Chanel, from Dior, I will go and buy it for you and post it to you. So. If you watch until the end, I will explain how you can enter that. Let's do an overview. Saleron, you have all the way up until April 2021. You could always get a discount on it. At, as a minimum, you could get 10% off. Even my Teresa, every so often they do a 10% off for new accounts. And I think from memory, on occasion, that 10% worked on uh, Saleron, but also Harrods. Harrods do um, a couple of, or they do a few 10% off days on a weekend every year. You could always get 10% off Saleron. Then it started to slow down a bit. Places like Louisa Via Roma started to scale it back a bit, where the coupon code worked on certain Saleron items, but not the more classic bags. But then you tried again and it would work on the classic bags. It was really weird. Then in April 2021, I told, uh, uh, well, if you saw the video, you'll already know. But I did a video before the date that the, co that the codes were gonna stop working. And I let all of you know, guys, this is coming up, those codes aren't gonna work, so if you've wanted to save money, then now's the time. Shall I show you some of my favorite things that I've bought before with coupons? Here's the, the random thing that I was most confused about. These are from Prada, and um, a couple of months ago, I want to, actually I wanna say September, Louisa Via Roma, had a coupon code out that I shared with you all and it worked on Prada. I was so confused. It worked on all of the bags, all of the clothes, and there was this pair of boots. I know that they are an acquired taste and not for everyone, but they're something that I really like and suit my style right now. I was confused about that. I did question why that was suddenly working. Other Prada things that I've got a discount on before is this cute little leather Prada bag. This is also from Louisa Via Roma and I purchased this in 2020 in the spring and I got a discount on it and I can't remember exactly. I have a feeling it was 15%. With the exception of the Toy Lulu, that I got 30% off that at Cyber Weekend a couple of years ago. I'm talking about Cyber Weekend in this, by the way, because that is a biggie. If you're watching this thinking, okay, cool, get to it though, how can I make a saving? There are some certain things that I recommend you do and Cyber Weekend is coming up. That's gonna be a major time that if there are gonna be coupon codes, it's gonna be around about then. Also bear in mind that we're in COVID times at the moment and I don't know if any of you remember Cyber Weekend in any detail last year but let me say there were discounts on things last year that I never thought I would see discounts on before so first thing to do is keep your make yourself a wish list the reason is for it if any codes hit add stuff to your shopping cart and go and test it and it's a real pain but there is an easier way around it but if you can make a wish list then that's going to allow you to get there quicker something like Karma works really well for this. Karma, um, I, I've spoken about this before, although it was called Shop Tagger when I've spoken about it before. And the reason why it's worth using is all of the things that I'm actually gonna tell you are worth doing, it does for you. Karma is basically an app and a Chrome extension and the, the pair of them make sure that you don't miss out on any coupon codes as they become available and that's why i that's why i find it so helpful because it's real time to create an account i'm actually going to put a link below and it's a 
not an affiliate link. It's a direct link that takes you to a page where you fill in a quick form, email address and name, and then once you've done that, it takes you through to an install page, and all you have to do is install this blue icon. That's really how the tool works. So you would go and you would go, oh, look at this nice Celeron bag, I like that. Click on the blue icon and it allows you to save to a list there. And as you can see, I have loads of lists. I use this tool a lot and I have a lot of stuff on it. And your wish list is private, by the way, no one can see it. The other thing I would recommend to do massively is there are two ways you can save money. There is the coupon way, but there is also cashback. And cashback is something that you can do all through the year. Nothing is stopping you doing that. And cashback is basically when you go shopping, you get a commission back. It's kind of like an affiliate link, but for you. And then the money that you make collects up in your PayPal account and then you can withdraw it. So you can earn money through selected retailers, which you can see on the cashback page. So you're not kind of like, oh, which ones work and which don't. So that's a really good way of you indirectly making a saving, not only on Saleron, but also if you think about Fendi, Gucci, other brands that are sold on the likes of Farfetch, Louisa V, Aroma. You can make a saving on those, but and it's an indirect saving. Make sure you sign up to email newsletters. This is a real biggie. So many coupon codes are sent out on email newsletters, and not only that, Cyber Weekend, a, a lot of it is email newsletter focused, so make sure you sign up. The other thing to do, there's a, a couple of other things that I really recommend. For the coupon codes, so that you're not having to bust yourself copying and pasting coupon codes from all over the place. Those coupon code websites, I try and avoid them. But for example, with this Karma thing, when you get to the checkout, there is an option. You don't have to do it, but it scans the internet for you. And if there are any coupon codes that work, it will input the coupon code for you. This coupon code search feature, it only works using the Chrome extension from a desktop. Shopping basket abandonment, you have to try this. Make sure that when you do it, you're logged in though, otherwise it's not gonna work. Log in to your account on a certain website Add what you want to your shopping cart and then go. And there are a lot of websites where they will email you a couple of hours later and they'll be like, I can see this is in your shopping cart. And sometimes in order to push you over the edge to make you buy the item, a lot of the places offer you like a 10% just to kind of nudge you into buying. Now I've got a few thoughts as to why I think they've done this and I think the first one has got to be to do with brand perception because last year, 2020, Prada, do you remember they came out and they really really pushed and it got really big, the reissue, the little underarm reissue bag. I feel like that bag was really popular because of the price point of it, particularly last year. Everything was up in the air with Covid and I know a lot of us wanted to sort of treat ourselves if you will. I bought some of the Prada nylon stuff because it was also good for when you were going out but on a casual walk or something because it wasn't like a really expensive bag. But they were they were affordable in that they were around about 500 pounds. I think they've gone up now. But prior to that, I don't actually feel as though Prada was in was in our view as much as it was until it made a real comeback last year with that bag. But as Prada got more and more popular, I'm not surprised that they would have pulled out of the coupon codes because I feel like they've really brought that brand back by creating bags that are iconic from the past and they've become iconic again now. And I see that that brand has really grown in popularity. Even if I just look on social media, I normally use Instagram as a barometer for things and Prada has got a lot more popular as I've seen it. Saleron was another brand that I always used to say to you guys, don't go and buy one of any of their items full price because you don't have to. I was always saying it because it was true. You could always wait and a code would come up eventually. But I did say at the time that the problem with discounting is that it doesn't feel very luxury when you can get a discount on something. And I wonder whether the combination of most of us knowing to hold off before buying had an effect on the perception of their bags. Whereas now that you can't get a discount or you kind of can, um, I feel like their, their bags, in my mind, have, have 
gone up. From a brand perspective, I know with Gucci and with Fendi, they actually have a legal agreement in place. I was told this by a retailer. Legally, they have in place documentation that actually bans third party retailers from offering random discount codes on their items at any point in the year. The only thing brands can do is if there are non-classic items that haven't sold throughout the year, retailers are allowed to include those in end of season sales. But rarely will you find, let's say Fendi, you're not gonna find a peekaboo unless it was in like a really um, unique color or design for that season. The giveaway, let's discuss the giveaway. The way this works, and I do this, I do these quite often, is I, okay, go onto my Instagram, find this image. I like to keep the giveaways quite, you know, as simple as I can. Find this image, leave me a comment, anyone can enter, it's international, and what else? You do not have to follow me, okay, on Instagram. So if you uh, like, my, like my YouTube, but you're not really feeling Instagram, Please don't feel that you have to follow me. I'm not going to reject you as the winner if you don't uh, follow me, so that's fine. And then what happens is I contact you, set you a budget, I'll DM you on Instagram is how I do this. You then go away and choose what you want. And um, I've had those of you before choose from Chanel, from Dior. One of you wanted something from Hermes. I had one of you, even Kaylee, I don't know if you're watching, but Kaylee took the budget and spread it across so many things like Vivian Westwood shoes, um, just various things. Basically put together a whole outfit. It was very creative. So all you have to do, find that image, leave me a comment. You don't have to follow me. Sign up to Karma, and I've put the link down below. Whichever winner is drawn, I will need your Karma email address. Uh, so that's why I say to do that. If you're already signed up to what was Shop Tagger, you can still enter. Obviously, you don't have to sign up again, so just go and enter uh, via the Instagram thing. I also, I hope that you don't mind, I always say this, but I hope that you don't mind um, me talking about karma or shop tagger again it, i think for any of you who already have it and for any of you who try it i would hope that when you do have a go with it that you would think yeah it's sponsored but actually i can see why a person would use it like it's something that if you're a shopper it's something that has an actual purpose to it and it's it's really beneficial so yeah i just hope that when you try it you'll kind of think oh yeah actually this is this is a helpful thing that i think i'm going to use i hope this video has been helpful to any of you watching who are into this kind of thing and want to make a saving thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video